my god guys it feels like a million years since i have picked up the camera and conversated with you yeah it's been a while um i took a break to be honest with you from uh vlogging there's just a lot mentally going on and i needed to just take a step back obviously mind my crazy hair today i am going to wash it this evening uh, this evening when i get back i have decided to start rocking my natural fro um, um that is kind of better yeah so i need to wash my hair it's been out for the last two or three days and my curls are starting to get all ratty and my hair needs to be deep conditioned washed and put away again um until i'm ready to wear it out obviously today is the 17th of march 2020 um we are not even three months into the year and there has just been 2020 the new decade has started off with a bang there has been a lot going on obviously in the world and just a lot going on genuinely in life as well um obviously everybody around the world in different parts of the world as we know there is the outbreak of covid19 um the uk haven't been put on official lockdown um but obviously we've been told to start social distancing and um obviously only traveling to work if it's absolutely necessary so in the grand scheme of things working from home for me at the moment is not that much different than what i do three days a week it just means i'm going to be doing it now five days a week um i haven't got to travel in um because our office has told everyone based at the london office um if you have no reason to be in work then please do not travel into work um if you've got every, if you haven't got everything to need to come in today to get what you need and as of from tomorrow you'll be working from home until obviously otherwise we're told otherwise so i obviously don't need to go in because i don't need anything from work to do a lot of my work is working with the contract managers and a lot of our information is um emailed and stuff like that so there's no real reason for us to be in work so um kai's still at school although i'm assuming in the next couple of days we may get told that the schools will be going to close um I know they're trying to avoid that, but I just don't see the logic behind telling people not to travel um, to social distance. And then you've got kids being at school in close proximity to each other. So, yeah, it's a bit of a no one really knows what's going on. So I thought I'd start picking up the camera again um, and vlogging. I wanted to start vlogging anyway. Um, I wanted to start studio vlogs um, because I am in the process well, I was in the process of starting another Etsy shop. I've already got one open selling party goods, which you can imagine at the moment there's been no views and no sales, mainly because of everything that's going on, which I totally, ex I, I kind of expect. I don't expect anyone to be having parties or buying anything for parties right now because it's the least of your, your issues and the least of your problems right now. However, before all of this happened, I was starting to design products um, for my, I call it stationary goodie shop um, or illustration shop. So making products using my illustrations or utilising my illustrations and my drawings and things like that. And I wanted to start vlogging as studio vlogs. Um, however, um, I had put a lot of that on hold because there was other stuff going on and I just my mind was just like do you know what let me focus on one thing because which was trying to look for a new job and kind of once i get settled in that then i can take on this tasks of the stationery shop however as we are all aware now it looked like i'm going to have plenty of time on my hands so i think in this time where we are going to be you know socially social distancing ourselves from one another in the sense of not being you know as going out as much maybe unless it's you know absolutely necessary to pick up essential foods or whatever um i thought i would utilize the time that i am going to be basically in my house and use it to my advantage 
and kind of start working on my art again and start working on things that I enjoy doing which in turn will end up in these vlogs um, maybe the content in terms of when I am making and creating stuff um, then I might keep that separate as a separate vlog so there will be two types of vlogs on this channel I think I was going to separate it but I don't think I'm going to separate it now um, personal vlogs as in what's going on in our day to day and obviously what's going on amid this crisis um, and pandemic um, and how we're coping with it and what how, how it's affecting us and um, the process of utilising that time to read, to create um, and to push forward so that um, going forward there'll be some movement as time goes on. But yeah, with that said, I think it's about time to go and collect Kai from school. So yeah, let me get on with that because he'll be buzzing me in a minute, sending me a message being like, Mum, uh, where are you? So let's go. I don't know, it's weird times, very weird. I mean, I started 2020 like, yeah, this is going to be great. Oh, God, you guys are going to have to deal with me with my bad hair days and all. Like, yeah, I'm so excited for this year. I've got some goals I want to smash. And we ain't even three months in yet. We're like two months and 17 days into the new year. And so far, what have we had this year, Kyren? What's been the madness? Kai. What was the madness this year? Trump nearly started World War Three. What else did we have? Floods. We've had floods. What else have we had? We've had three. We had three or four wildfire. storms. Ah. Huh? World, world, wildfire. The wildfires. England was battered like three storms back to back. Were there three storms? Yeah, there was three storms back to back. Like it's been a madness, and now we've got a pandemic. <laughs> we we literally. How many days? 70 something days into the year it's it's yeah it's been a lot and what i've noticed is i'm trying to limit my exposure to the information and my exposure to social media just because there is a lot of scaremongering going on people are obviously very fearful people are have you know i know for me i already suffer with anxiety and i've noticed that um, last year when I pff, last year has it been a year already Kyren mm? is it two years that grandma's been gone now uh... coming up to two years isn't yeah, it it's true. Gigi um, so when my great grandmother passed I realised that she was um we knew she was coming towards the end. Um, I realised I was starting to suffer from anxiety. And I'd get to a point where I felt like I was holding my breath all the time. Um, and I realised after when she passed that it really did affect me. And I realised afterwards that it was anxiety. Um, and I, and it's something that you kind of, it just kind of hits you and you kind of have to learn how to deal with it but it was yeah it was it was it's been a lot so I notice now when I start to feel stressed or I feel like there's a lot of stuff getting on top and my mind can't physically compartmentalize stuff and put it away to be like oh, that's not important I feel like my anxiety so I could feel the other night I think it was Monday night or Sunday night I went to bed and I knew my anxiety levels were high because I did not sleep well and I felt like it was all the exposure to it um and obviously I'm a, a great believer in your mind and you you know you draw to you what you're fearful of and all the rest of it so I've really tried to kind of listen to more importantly know what's going on in the UK as in what are we being asked to do um, finding out what's happening in terms of Kai school, what they're doing and being ahead of what my work is doing. And then it's about me making conscious decisions. And I think as, as the weeks, as this week goes on, eventually I feel schools will close and it will become, as our numbers are rising, it will become something that they want to keep a grip on. So, so I say all of that to say that I'm limiting my amount of exposure to it only because um, 
I think if you're somebody who suffers with panic attacks or you're someone who is anxious already, um, overloading your, your, your mind with information that is conflicting or is based on personal opinion, because let's be honest, no one really knows, well, <laughs> no one really knows totally like there's going to be a lot that the governments are not telling us or health officials are not telling us so we have to kind of be mindful of what we say and what we do and what we put out there i've watched i've heard um and i'm going to switch over now and watch some netflix um i might possibly do some drawing while i'm watching netflix what was i watching yesterday what is it called Claire? i started because I've got like my Netflix list. Oh, look at this. Look, I've just sat down and squashed all my hair. My Netflix list is ridiculous. So I started watching something yesterday and I'm going to continue watching it today because it was a lot of fun. It's called AJ. I think it's called AJ and the Queen. Is it AJ and the Queen? Yeah, AJ and the Queen. And it stars RuPaul. So I'm now on episode three. I'll probably watch another three today because they are hella funny. Um, I've always secretly loved RuPaul. Um, just there's something about him that is just, I don't know. He's a funny guy. He's, he's very funny. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm just, maybe I just love the way he looks when he glams himself up. I don't really know. Cause I tell you what, yeah, makeup, everything be on point. Obviously not like me right now, looking like trash bag, but hey. Um, Morning, guys. 18th of March, 2020. Uh, I am a blog done. About to start working. Um, didn't do much yesterday. Me and Kai watched one and a half episodes of AJ and the Queen. Um, and then we were both feeling a bit tired, so we kind of got an early night. Uh, I had to meditate yesterday because my brain was like, was, was, was doing some crazy things. Um, literally, I was doing some crazy things and I just needed to chill my anxiety. So I kind of meditated yesterday um, and just chilled out and then fell asleep and actually had a really good night's sleep. So I would advise you in this time where anxiety levels are high if you don't already um meditate or at least listen to suit some soothing music to kind of just bring your calm your energy down um there's so many videos on youtube where you can listen to relaxing music or like what they call like spa music like if you're in lying in the dark in the spa after you've had your massage or whatever and i'm not even gonna lie to you it really does help kind of settle your mind before you go to sleep um and then this morning i did another med meditation and i was kind of calm when i woke up so i'm cool um about to start my day i have a conference call at 11 i think it is 11 i better double check i think it's 11 or 11 30 um we will have daily conference calls right now to kind of make sure that all our things are going as it should um and we're kind of putting in plans in place just in case people fall ill um or managers are off we're still able to kind of hit our kpis or most of our kpis with our clients um so that's happening today um i don't think i've got anything else urgent that needs to do today but um yeah probably gonna try and do a food shop today attempt if not today i'm definitely gonna go tomorrow um and not doing what everyone's doing and panic buying i'm not doing that because i don't see the need to because i realize even if we do go on any form of lockdown you're still going to be able to go out to get food i don't think they're going to stop you from getting food i'm going to start my day i'm going to catch up on some youtube look at my puffies i need to wash my hair i'm being very lazy right now um and i need to find some recipes for some clay washes which i'm gonna do as well today so i will catch up with you guys a little later on um yeah a little later on in my day some piece in the middle but you touch someone they're like ah! do you not see what i have to go through <laughs> every day 
such a weak little sport. You it's have, come home whinging. Whinging. All you have to do is... All right, we're on our way to the corner shop or co-op. Um, thank God we have a co-op literally around the corner. I have no idea what's going to be in stock. I have no idea what they're going to have because um, it appears we may as well we may well be going into an overall lockdown until the fifth of April. That is what they are guessing. This is what they think is going to happen. They have already shut the schools in Scotland and Wales as of from Friday, and. The education minister is due to make an announcement today and I think that will be, the schools will be closing on Friday. Um, mainly because they cannot cope. Obviously everyone's putting themselves in self-isolation and this is including a lot of teachers. Um, my manager's daughter is home from school. All of the year nines have been sent home because they didn't have enough teachers to teach. So they're making A-levels and GCSE students a priority because obviously they're due to have their exams so if they can they are sending kids home who can learn at home and learn remotely so we are on our way to co-op to see if we can at least pick up a few bits until we kind of know what's going to go on with this lockdown what's going to be the general consensus going forward I did try to book an online shop there were no slots available, not even up all the way up into the middle of April. So it's a mad thing right now. Mad, mad thing right now. This is what kind of... Sometimes I see people driving and I just think, where did you learn to get your license? Or where did you get your license? Clownland? Legoland? Seriously. So let's go try and see what we can get. Good people, I just sat here doing a whole rant. And my battery clicked off, or my camera clicked off, and I've lost the footage. So now, we have to start again. Cara, what are we doing behind me? <laughs> Anywho. So yes, as I was saying, that was the most stressful, stressful visit to the supermarket I have ever, 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 ever experienced in my whole 39 or 38 and a bit years of life. Uh, it was literally felt like it was coming we're coming to the end of the world and this is a zombie apocalypse and everybody's trying to get whatever food they can there That's was hardly did feel like that. there was hardly anything there was no I just about got a broccoli tomatoes I got a few tomatoes and they were plum tomatoes I've never had plum tomatoes but today this 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 time I'm gonna eat them um, I got some ginger because me and Kyron kind of need to, we need to make sure that we can at least keep our immune system up. Ginger is good for that. Oh, Kyron's packing away the shopping so I can hold this now. We got some bananas because I like bananas. We didn't get no peanut butter though. We got a little bit of peanut butter left. Uh, we got some biscuits. We got a bit of chocolate just for our sweet tooth. We got some juice. We got some margarine to bake if we want to bake a cake. We got a couple of things of juice. We got some butter to do some bread, even though there was no bread. Hear what I'm saying? There was no bread. Yeah, none. Not a loaf. <laughs> um, I got a four pack of tin tuna. There was one of those left. I think people felt like four pounds was a lot. But do you know what? In this day and age, I need to be able to at least feed me and my child. So I got a four pack of tuna because my mum... This is how deep the operations was for Operation Get Some Food Today. This is how deep it was. Shall I tell you that? So, mum was in her... Yeah, she was in her area, in her Sainsbury's. Other supermarkets are available. But she was in her supermarket, and I was where I was. Kyra, why are you putting that away? we got to have something for dinner today. I don't know what we're going to have with it, but we might have, to have rice, because it's the one thing we've got a lot of. Um... So she said, go to your corner shop or go to your corner supermarket. I went to co-op. Again, other supermarkets are available. <laughs> and she, we basically were talking on the phone. And why I was realising there was things that I needed that I couldn't get, she was trying to see if they were available in her supermarket. So luckily for me, her Sainsbury's had um, bread. So we got bread. I was able to get at least... A few packets of biscuits. I got some custard cream, some malted milks, and we got two packets of Oreos because we like to snack. Sometimes I'll have a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits. Not all the time, but sometimes. Couldn't get no cream crackers, but I've just opened a new packet. Um, 
Kyron got himself some Doritos. I got some hot cross buns because I thought, well, at least if we've got the bread, I don't mind eating hot cross buns for a couple of days. We have got muffins in the fridge, but guess what? We couldn't get no eggs. There was no eggs. There was no eggs. Um, luckily for me, I'm intelligent enough to buy a bit flour a little while ago. So we've got a bit of flour. My mum did say she's got some. My mum is one of those shoppers who... Not that she stockpiles, but she buys and then like, if she uses a couple of tins, she'll put a couple of tins back on the next shop. So my mum's cupboards are never... Empty. They're never empty. Yeah, That's they're true. never... She's never... She's never without... To go, oh, mum, the ketchup's finished. Oh, yeah, 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 I got two. Like, and then she'll go back to the shop like the following week or two weeks and she'll go and buy another one to put down. So she kind of stockpiles, or I call it not stockpiling, but she bulk buys. She tends to, she while she's got... Smart. She buys smart and she buys... So she was always telling me, like, if What's you've got the money... Uh, hold it in the fridge, I think. She's always like, if you've got the money, like, buy what you need. Do you know what, Karen? We might have tuna instead of the mackerel. Um because I can put that with the rice. I can even fry it up in the rice if I need to. Um, so she had some um, flour. She was telling me she had some flour. Saying. So yeah, so mum had a few things. So she was able to pick up a few things, which is great for me. So he hasn't put UK on lockdown because that was the whispers that they felt like they were going to put UK on lockdown until the 5th of April. And I think that panic has made people further go out and buy and buy stuff that to be honest are they gonna really eat like that guy that was picking up all them stuff Kyron I'm like is that a normal shop for him or is he just picking up things that do you get what I mean is he just picking up things because they're on the shelf <laughs> like I just I don't understand if it's not something that you normally eat I don't get it but anyway not my problem not my bank balance anywho um so but i mean with now with the schools closing and this is the thing people's going to say oh the schools are closing but the schools are not closing to all kids they are not closed to key worker kids and kids who are in um who are vulnerable so that would be a lot of kids that are in care so 11 11 i just saw that uh i've been seeing that all day today um so in that regards although um the majority of kids will be off school, at least they're doing it in a sense of, they're not closing it because there's a panic of the school kids getting it. They're closing it because they have to kind of do something to restrict people having to leave their house. Because I'll be honest with you, this morning at 10 o'clock, the roads were quiet. Then about two o'clock, they got very, very, and are very, very busy. So in this scenario, I get what the government is trying to do. If you're not going to adhere to government guidelines, we are going to do things to ensure that you have no choice. <laughs> because if you're supposed to be social distancing right now, there is not a lot of social distancing. Considering, I mean, like I read, how many people was in that supermarket today? <laughs> there was no social distancing going on. That was packed than normal. Because if I be honest, most times in that co-op, there's hardly anybody in there. Maybe on a Friday... It's quite busy, isn't it? If we pop Friday and we're going to go to Woods Fish Bar, it might be busy on a Friday because people are picking up wine or things to eat over the weekend, isn't it? Um, and maybe a Saturday. It might be busy on a Saturday. But usually, there's nobody in there. But today, there was a queue. It all going down, Mom. Well, it's going to drop. So, I don't know. I'm trying not to let... Like I said, I'm just trying to follow guidelines all to be fair apart from that trip to the shop today for most of the week it's literally been get up in the morning get Kyron to school come back home log on do my work finish work pick up Kyron come back home we've literally been I haven't been out of the house I haven't been anywhere did I the only day I went out was Saturday night I went out for a meal and at that point things were still kind of thingy and I only went up the road for for a meal for a few hours but I have no problem um, social distancing. I have no problem with not moving. We were supposed to go to Manchester this weekend. My uncle cancelled his birthday party. So my mum's now rearranging those tickets to see if we can go up sometime in the summer. Um, we're due to go to Manchester, not this weekend, coming, not Manchester, Birmingham, the weekend of the 28th. 
I think as this goes on, I think there's a possibility that part is going to be cancelled. Um, and if can, people do not start listening, I think what's going to happen next is going to be a shutdown on public transport. Then that way, and any kind of transport, that way then nobody's backside's going anywhere. How about that? Um, so, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, anyway... I've rambled on enough. I am now 11, 1 hour and 11 minutes. I just saw it again, 11, 11. I'm telling you, these angel numbers come at me fast and fast and furious every minute of the day. But it's all good. That's their way of communicating with me. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, look at this one. Going to chill out this evening. Um, try and fling something together. I'm going to pour this into my, into my drink. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to fling something together um, because I hadn't taken any f meat out because I assumed we were going to go to do a shop, which didn't end up happening. Um, so it is what it is. But I'm going to charge this camera because it's now uh, a low battery. So I'm going to charge it. If I don't catch up with you guys later, which I, we probably will because there may be some other announcement, who bloody well knows... Uh, so yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit when I've charged my camera.